Hello, my beautiful people. Coach Gabby here today, and we have a seated back workout. That's right, we're working out our back, getting rid of that pesky back flab, all while sitting down. All right, it's gonna be great. You're gonna love it. So let's get into it. All right, so we will be doing three sets. The first one, I talk you through it a little bit more as I do it with you proper form, all that good stuff. And then set number two and three, less talking, more doing. We just go straight through the routine, have fun and listen to the music. All right, so starting with our first exercise, we're gonna be doing a cat cow. So I want you to scooch to the edge of your chair. All right, and you're gonna gently place your hands on your knees. And what I want you to do is you're gonna arch and then you're gonna cave in. So I'm gonna turn around a little bit so you can see. We're gonna arch all the way up, look up as much as you can and then you're gonna roll forward and then inside, you're gonna pretend like there's a string in the middle of your torso, pulling you up, 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 all right? And then you go in, all right? Roll your shoulders as you come back up to stretch. And then opposite, roll them forward as you concave everything in and up. All right, so that is our cat cow. Big breath, we're gonna do that alter alternating for 30 seconds and Let's go. All right, so taking your time. Really working through the movements here. It's not about how many you do or how fast. This one is really taking your time and feeling the movement. And three, two, one, come up slowly, roll your shoulders back, and then your head comes up, very good. So that is a cat cow. You can do that sitting down like we just did. You could do it kneeling on the floor, or you could even do it standing up, all right? So lots of different ways to do a cat cow. It's really great for not only your back, but your core as well, stretching it, working it out, all that good stuff. So next we are doing a front raise to T, all right? So you're gonna start with your hands straight out in front of you, all right? And we're gonna bring them all the way up and then come back to straight in front of you and then open to a T, all right? Back forward, up, side, all right? Continuously really squeezing, squeezing your shoulders as they come up here and squeezing your back muscles as they come here. So squeezing them together and then coming up and squeezing, all right? 30 seconds. Big breath and let's go. So up and then sideways, very good. Even though we're just working our arms here, your entire body is engaged. So I want a nice straight spine, good posture and an engaged core. So your core is all tight and tucked in, all right? It's not just the hanging out, doing nothing, all right? It's engaged as well. Your entire body is moving or just sitting with intention, all right? We're not slouched over here, okay? Nice, strong body. Very good. And three, two, one, and shake it out, shake it out, very good. Next we have a torso twist, all right? Really great for the back and core muscles. All right, so we're gonna put your hands out in front of you, and then we're gonna go to the side, and then the other side. What's great about doing this sitting down is usually we have to really focus when we're standing to not move our lower body. We just wanna move our upper body, but because we're sitting down, we, our, body, our body is already in place. Our lower body is already in place. We can just focus on really twisting and torso twisting as much as possible. All right, so 30 seconds on the clock. Big breath, torso twist, let's go. So side to side, very good. I like keeping my elbows up and to the side. It helps keep like um, my entire upper body engaged instead of kind of having them down here, kind of like having them up here. So whatever works for you. You can even do this with your open open arms. So, another option there for you. Very good. And three, two, one. And very good, drop it, shake it out. Woo, I really felt that one, that was great. All right, so to finish strong, last but not least, we have a hip hinge. All right, so you can open your legs a little bit more on this one. Make sure you're at the edge of the seat so we give yourself some um, space to move. All right, and we're gonna come out, 
You can either have your hands out to your sides or up, in, um, or up, that's right. So side or up, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna hip at, we're gonna hinge at the hip, all right? Down, flat back, and then up. So it could either be called a hip hinge or a flat back fold, all right? So just keeping your back nice and straight, using that back muscle, those back muscles to stay that way, coming down, and then up. So go as, as down flat as you can, all right? It doesn't have to be all the way I did it. So you can come up here and then come back up, all right? So whatever works best for you, just keep those back muscles nice and strong and straight. 30 seconds on the clock. And remember, you can have your arms out here or up here. 30 seconds and let's go. All right, nice straight back. Very good and up, woo. Already feeling this one, very good. Remember to press your shoulders away from your ears, all right? It's easy to kind of scrunch up when we are we have our arms up, but you don't wanna do this, you wanna push them away, all right? Nice, long, elegant neck. Very good. And three, two, one, last one, finish it up. And arms down, very good, shake it out. Big breath, and there we have it, set number one of your sitting back workout. All right, take a second, grab some water, breathe, stretch, and then we're gonna crush set number two. Alrighty, my beautiful people, set number two, less talking, more doing. We have our cat cow, all right? And then we have our front raise to T. We have our torso twist, and then we have our hip hinge. All right, 30 seconds each, you got this. Starting with our cat cow, I'm gonna turn the side so you can see it a little bit better. 30 seconds and let's go. And three, two, one. Very good. Now we have our front raise to T. 30 seconds. Let's go. And three, two, one, and shake it out, shake it out, very good. Torso twist, 30 seconds, big breath, and begin. Three, two, one, and center. Very good, drop it. 30 seconds, hip hinge, choose your arm variation, and let's go. And three, two, one, last one, come up, arms down, very good, shake it out, big breath, 
And there we have it, two sets done. Dust a great job. Take a second, grab your water, and then we're going for set number three. All righty, you got this, you know what to do. We're having fun, we're gonna keep up the energy, and we're doing set number three of your seated back workout. All right, starting with our cat cow. Big breath, and let's go. And three, two, one. Very good. Now we have our front raise to T. 30 seconds. Let's go. And three, two, one, and shake it out, shake it out, very good. Torso twist, 30 seconds, big breath, and begin. Three, two, one, and center. Very good, drop it. 30 seconds, hip hinge, choose your arm variation, and let's go. And three, two, one, last one, come up, arms down, very good, shake it out. Alrighty, that was it, three sets of your seated back workout. It was awesome, let us know what you think in the comments below, um, and then go check out our channel, subscribe, click the bell, that lets you know when we post, so you don't miss out on the next awesome workout or recipe, all right? I hope to see you there.